can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this equation, 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equals 1 over a plus b plus c, then the goal is to find the value of 1 over a cubed plus 1 over b cubed plus 1 over c cubed. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this equation, the goal is to evaluate this expression 1 over a cubed plus 1 over b cubed plus 1 over c cubed. Now, to answer this, let's observe this equation or our equation. Take note that this a, b, and c cannot be equal to 0. Otherwise, this equation is undefined. So a, b, and c are not equal to 0. So now, let's get our equation. And then what we're going to do is to subtract 1 over c on both sides. So if we do that, we get 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 over a plus b plus c minus 1 over c. And doing this step, we created three possible cases. So the first one is when subtracting 1 over c on both sides. The second case is when subtracting 1 over b on both sides. And the third case, when we subtract 1 over a on both sides. So technically speaking, we have three possible cases here. So now let's focus first on, of course, on the first case. Now, to continue, what we're going to do is to combine these two terms on the right-hand side of our equation. And if we do that, we get something like C minus the quantity A plus B plus C all over the product C and A plus B plus C. Now, Simplify the numerator, this will give us negative of the quantity a plus b. And now let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to add the additive inverse of the right-hand side. So this will give us a plus b over a b plus a plus b all over c multiplied by a plus b plus c equals 0. And why we do that? Because notice, we have a common factor of a plus b. Their numerator are the same. So we can factor out their numerator like this. So a plus b multiplied by the quantity 1 over a b plus 1 over c times the quantity a plus b plus c equals 0. And let's focus on this equation because we will apply the 0 property. So it follows that a plus b equals 0 or 1 over a b plus 1 over c times a plus b plus c equals 0. And focusing on this equation, we have a relationship 1 over a plus b plus c, if we simplify this, equals negative c over a b. And if we substitute this to our given equation, we don't get any relationship between the variables a, b, and c. So this equation seems to be useless. So let's focus on the first. So we have a plus b equals 0. And on this equation, we can say that A is equal to negative B. So given this equation, we can say that A equals negative B. In the first case, we can say that A equals negative B. And doing the same process, on the second case, we can say that A equals negative C. And if we do the same process, on the third case, we can say that B equals negative C. And now, using those information, we can now evaluate our expression 1 over a cubed plus 1 over b cubed plus 1 over c cubed. All right. On the first case, we know that a equals negative b. So we can replace this a with negative b. And now simplify 1 over negative b cubed is negative 1 over b cubed. Now we have a negative 1 over b cubed and a positive 1 over b cubed. So this is just 0. So the answer is just 1 over c cubed. Therefore, on the first case, any real number a, b, c that satisfies this equation, the value of this expression 1 over a cubed plus 1 over b cubed plus 1 over c cubed is equivalent to 1 over c cubed. And now, doing the second case, if a equals negative c, we get that the value of this expression is 1 over b cubed. And in the third case, if b equals negative c, we get that the value of this expression is 1 over a cubed. Therefore, we have three possible cases in this question. 
So given this equation 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equals 1 over a plus b plus c, then we found three possible cases and we also have three possible answers. Should be 1 over c cubed, 1 over b cubed, or 1 over a cubed. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this equation, then we have this answer. And as always, we are done. And of course, don't stop asking questions because if you ask questions, you discover. And when you discover, you learn. And in that learning, we grow. So see you on our next video.